the child was born at midnight. Ifeoma cradled the newborn boy, swaddled in a white cloth, by the nurses. The baby was a lively one, taking after his father, Guillaume. His eyes, forehead, and face mirrored those of his father, though he inherited her flat African nose. In his mysterious gaze, especially when he turned his head sideways, a subtle smile seemed to radiate, almost as if proclaiming, I was born into wealth. Guillaume La Chase arrived at the maternity ward early in the morning, anticipation and joy written all over his face. In his hands, he carried a large bouquet of vibrant roses, a symbol of celebration and love. With careful consideration, he placed the bouquet beside the table, close to the bed where Ifeoma lay with their newborn child. It was a scene filled with tenderness and the promise of a new chapter in their lives. Sitting next to his wife, Guillaume felt immense gratitude and joy as he looked at his small family. The baby, snugly wrapped in a soft blanket, lay in a tiny bed near Ifeoma's maternity bed. The room resonated with the soft sounds of a lullaby playing, creating an atmosphere of serenity and warmth. As he gazed at Ifeoma and their newborn son, Guillaume's heart swelled with emotions. The sheer magnitude of becoming a father overwhelmed him. A proud smile played on his lips as he marveled at the tiny features of their child, noting the resemblance to both himself and Ifeoma. The child's peaceful slumber seemed to reflect the profound joy and contentment that had settled within the room. He smiled when Ifeoma looked at him with satisfaction. In that quiet moment, Guillaume contemplated the journey they had embarked on together, the challenges, the triumphs, and now, the miracle of new life. He thought about the countless nights he had imagined this very scene, the day he would become a father. The reality surpassed his wildest dreams, and he felt an inexplicable bond with the tiny soul that now graced their lives. A gentle touch from Ifeoma stirred him from his reverie. She opened her eyes, and in that shared gaze, they exchanged a silent understanding, a profound connection that words could hardly capture. Guillaume leaned over and placed a soft kiss on Ifeoma's forehead expressing his love and gratitude for the strength she had shown throughout pregnancy and childbirth. The new parents sat together, basking in the glow of their growing family. Guillaume spoke softly to their son, whispering words of welcome, promises, and love. The room filled with the scent of roses, symbolizing the blossoming of their family tree. Each petal seemed to encapsulate the hopes, dreams, and aspirations they held for their child. In the days that followed, Guillaume embraced fatherhood with enthusiasm. He took an active role in caring for their newborn, learning the delicate art of cradling, feeding, changing the baby's diaper, and soothing. The couple rejoiced in the shared joys and sleepless nights, finding beauty in the simple moments of watching their son discover the world. Ifeoma, on her part, had chosen a name that held a strong meaning in the ages of Igbo culture and spirituality. There was something in that name, the name of our child is Chitama, her mother, Madame Ugwu, shared with Ifeoma over the phone, a name that encapsulated the belief that one's chi, or God, is alive and ever watchful. The Ebos hold that success in life is elusive to those whose chi slumbers. Thus, the chosen name carried not just a melodic resonance, but also a profound belief in the vibrancy of the divine and peaceful nature within their child, Ebo and French. Surprisingly, Guillaume, embracing the cultural diversity within some French families, had named their son Denzel, inspired by the renowned American actor, Denzel Washington. The name Denzel, though foreign to his parents, bore a personal significance for Guillaume, a connection to a moment in time when he sat in a Parisian cinema hall, captivated by the performance of an actor whose influence would transcend continents. Thus, the child became Denzel Chittima La Chase, a harmonious blend of cultural roots, Igbo, American, and French, and personal inspirations. In this name, the meeting of worlds and the fusion of beliefs were the influences, symbolizing the unity of their familial bond. Denzel Chittima La Chase, where Igbo tradition and global influences converged to shape the identity of a new life. A few months later, Ifeoma found a nanny who took care of Denzel Chitama while she went back to her restaurant, Siva de Frique as the CEO because her friend Marie Therese had developed the business creating three more branches in Paris. I have good news for you, Marie, Therese told her as she returned to the restaurant close to the Eiffel Tower, now the head office of the business. Tell me what's all about, she said. 
I'm engaged to a good man and caring man, she said. Where did he come from? I Fioma asked. He is a French man. His name is Pierre, Marie, Therese answered. Is he white or black? I Fioma asked. Just like Guillaume, your husband. You know French men are romantic. 